Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We passed the six-minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. 20 seconds and counting. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. wondering how mankind reached all the way to the moon. Let's go back in time and explore the story of the Apollo mission. Around the 1950s began the space race between the two Cold War rivals, the United States and the Soviet Union. It was a 20th century competition between countries to achieve superior spaceflight capability, as spaceflight is also connected to technology and defense. Around 1957, the Soviet Union launched their first satellite called Sputnik 1 to space, making them the first country to ever launch a man-made satellite to orbit the Earth. Later, in April 12, 1961, the Soviet Union also became the first country to ever send a human to space. The first human to ever go to outer space was Yuri Gagarin. He completed one orbit around the Earth and achieved a major milestone, not only in the space race, but it was a big milestone for mankind. This was followed by a series of achievements by the Soviet Union for the next few years, which sparked the Apollo program. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy said in a keynote speech that he wanted America to land the first astronauts on the moon, which led to NASA's Apollo program. The U.S. space exploration program started with the Mercury project, a one-man capsule with the objective to launch a human into space. It was the first U.S. human spaceflight program and lasted from 1958 through 1963. The Mercury program successfully launched the first American astronaut, Alan Shepard, briefly into space, but not into orbit in 1961. Later, in 1962, the first American to orbit the Earth was John Glenn in Mercury 6. He orbited the Earth three times in almost five hours. Later in the next year came the Gemini project, designed to take two men into space. Project Gemini successfully flew 10 manned missions from 1964 through 1966 to improve techniques of spacecraft control, rendezvous and docking, and space walking. The Apollo program ran from 1961 to 1975. The Apollo program was designed to land humans on the moon and bring them safely back to Earth. There were a series of early Apollo missions that allowed 
NASA to test key technology responsible for getting astronauts to the moon and back, such as the Saturn V rocket. And these missions also studied the lunar surface while orbiting the moon for the benefit of future crewed missions. Finally, in July 1969, Apollo 11 put Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made the historic first landing on the moon while Michael Collins piloted the Columbia mothership. Neil Armstrong became the first human to ever walk on the moon, followed by Buzz Aldrin 19 minutes later. The astronauts spent 21 hours and 26 minutes on the lunar surface before lifting off and bringing home the first samples from another celestial body, the moon. It sure was a giant leap for mankind. This historic landing later put 12 other astronauts on the moon in five subsequent Apollo missions. Apollo 12, Apollo 14, Apollo 15, Apollo 16, and Apollo 17. Apollo 17 was the last mission that landed astronauts on the moon in 1972. NASA's Apollo program resulted in American astronauts making a total of 11 space flights and walking on the moon. It sure was a big achievement. Eventually, a cooperative agreement between the United States and the Soviet Union ended their Cold War competition. The Apollo program was surely a big milestone of space exploration, and Armstrong and Eldrin's names became forever famous in space history. Hoppity hippity hoppity hippity hoppin' over hill and dale Da 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 da